Hello friends, I'd like to show you something. This kind of snake plant, this kind of mother-in-law plant is called, you know, when they are low, they all called as a group bird's nest. But uh, then they divide it by, you know, the color like this one is uh, variegated and some are twisted leaf and so forth. And uh, here is a car dealership that two years ago planted between sidewalk and their place thousands of these plants all exactly same and over two years period they multiplied by suckers and yeah? they under the under the soil they make babies and uh, what I was wondering about would they be exactly same or would they differ my guess was that some and it showed up to be true would have a narrow this yellow stripe and some would have a wide this yellow stripe you can see right here white, narrow, right? And uh, so that was my guess and it proved to be the true. But I was wondering would there be some other differences? Would some of them be, for instance, completely non-variegated or tall or non-twisted or twisted way more? And so I was looking, looking because this is a very good example. Like for instance, this is way wider than this, you see? But this one is actually not having yellow edge, you see? And so I was looking, looking, looking. Is there more differences? Can you create new types not by cross-pollination, but by just selection of what's growing if you grow lots of them. And so I was looking, looking, looking. You see, we have a example of a lot and lot and whoa! Here you get a whole group of completely non-variegated toward the end much taller. And so I was looking further, looking, looking. Can I find something else? If I miss something, you can write it in the comments below what you found that I missed. Looking, looking, looking. And here is one that's very less twisted. You see that? Maybe if one were to put it in a separate place maybe its babies will be way less twisted and here is another one this one is just not twisted period looking looking and here is one again not variegated edges but does it look like the other one we just missed we just passed i'm trying to say do you see it has like two lines let me go back and find out compare is it different or not? Here it is, look. It does not have that line in middle. Like the other one has two. This group does not. And here in front, again, it does not. So, this is different than, than the other mutation, where is it? here that has that line, interesting line. And so I'm looking, looking, do we get a more new types, more mutations? Well, there's another one that's pretty much non-twisted, but we've seen that elsewhere already. So, looking, looking further. 
and that well here is one that's almost completely yellow it's not even a yellow edge wow and the other leaves also very very yellow yeah if one were to dig one out and give it space to multiply would the babies also be like that would you get a whole new type the answer is that i don't know Locking, locking, coming toward the end. Locking, locking. And that's it. And so that's the end of a two years line breeding experiment or whatever you want to call it. This long line, I didn't grow it. I'm just observing experiment that is happening by its own self from a plant that's Latin name Sansevieria a certain type of Sansevieria an English name it's either mother-in-law tank or snake plant very easy to grow plant except who has enough space to devote to so many of the same type so that the nature would create something new well if you're wondering who I can tell you this here car dealership whatever it is some kind of business they did it yeah so thank you business for allowing us to watch the result of this experiment that is so far two years old two years old experiment okie dokie artichoke friends my dear friends I hope you found this interesting and I wish you everything best keep on trucking or roller skating goodbye